for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Libra, recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the moon and it's with the five of cups. Now, with the moon card, you could feel more psychic, more intuitive than usual. So it's important to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's helpful for you to realize that when you get this card in a reading, it's possible that all is not what it seems. Yeah, so if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it could take longer than you would like for it to. So when you get the moon card in a reading, you do have to try to stay patient. Now, it's with the Five of Cups, which is another card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have? And get on with things. What I'm trying to say is when you get the five of cups you do have to watch where you put your focus. Yeah and make sure it's for your highest good. So this moon card clarified by the five of cups for you and your person's recent past energy. Well this is telling me that You could feel like you didn't trust the person anymore, or you didn't. You could have had uh, a hard time believing what they said. Um, you could have felt like this person was holding back. You could have felt like something was hidden from you. You could have felt like there was deception. And it caused you to feel like, um, it caused you disappointment. Yeah. You were probably having a hard time focusing on the positive of the connection or focusing on the positive with this person. Um, you could have felt like this person was a liar. And your instincts, they were probably on point when you get the moon card. That's what it's indicating. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got this Two of Pentacles, and it's with Temperance. Now, the Two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind. So you could need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking, it's not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles in a reading. So... You may need to cut down on things you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So you want to be sure you're paying attention there. Now it's with temperance. With this one, although your relationships, they're likely to be going quite well. For some, for some of you, you may need to look and see if there are any deeper personal issues and see if or how these could be standing in your way and if they are how to work through them and integrate them because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you might have. So yeah you got so, um, Libra, coming up, two of pentacles clarified by temperance. You got two cards here that's about that balance. One is imbalance, the two of pentacles, because there's too much going on, and then the other one is about being balanced. So, yeah. You could, coming up, you could feel like you're, you're going back and forth between trying to Balance yourself, balance the connection, balance out your energy. And then all of a sudden, you find yourself 
um, just being all over the place. Yeah, your mind is here and there. You're probably trying to do too much. Um, for some of you, you're trying to take your mind off of this disappointment with this person or a disappointment with being disappointed in the connection. Some of you are just trying to do too much just to, so that you're not so focused on what you're disappointed about. So you're trying to bring balance back into your life, but you always go back to just kind of like doing this, doing that, um, doing too much and probably doing most of it. Unfortunately, not well when you get the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, because it's indicating multitasking is not your friend coming up. But for, for a lot of you, you're trying, you're doing this just to take your focus off of whatever this Five of Cups is. Because there's disappointment here. Yeah, maybe your person has told one too many lies. Because the Moon card is about deception. Yeah. So you're trying to bring balance back into, I'm getting for a lot of you, it's balance back into your world. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We've got the Eight of Swords, and it's with the Sun card. Now, the Eight of Swords, you could be holding yourself back because you're afraid to move into the future, or because you could be wary of getting hurt by a new situation or or a, a person or something. Or maybe for no reason at all. You have to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your, than your mind is making it out to be. Now, your, your um, Eight of Swords, that's with the Sun card. Now, with the Sun card, things are likely to be going very well. However, even though your finances, they could be in good shape when you get the sun card in a reading, but that doesn't mean you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of us. Well, for some of us it is, but the sun card says it's not high on the list. Now, it's indicating that because it's trying to say it's a good time to do other things also. Socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job and you get the sun card in the reading, well, this is an indicator that it's right around the corner. So your challenge, Eight of Swords, clarified by the sun. So, yeah, like I said, uh, Lever, you could be trying to bring balance back into the connection because it's kind of like all over the place. Or maybe that's you up there, just jog through a lot of, doing a lot of juggling to take your mind off of whatever you're disappointed about. Um, but then the challenge is showing that, yeah, you could be realizing that you're not happy being in this connection or being with this person. So you start to hold yourself back. With the Eight of Swords just... Hope the Eight of Swords stands there. If you take a look at the picture. Yeah, Eight of Swords, the card above the word challenge. He's kind of like caged himself in with all of these swords. There's a hot fire behind him. And a huge bull on top of that. And he is not putting one foot in front of the other. Where, where as you can see, he clearly can do so. You can put one foot in front of the other and run. But no, he's just standing there, afraid to move forward. Just kind of stuck in his head. It can be like being in a mental prison. Yeah, so you're afraid to move forward with this person. You could feel like there's just too much deception, too much, too many lies have been told. Too, much, too many secrets. You could feel like your person is secretive. Too much is kept from you. So you're afraid to step forward with this person or continue to go forward with this connection. 
Yeah. But the sun card is here. So you realize it's keeping you from being happy. And that's that's what you want to be. You just want to be happy. So let's move on over. Let's see what this outcome is. Okay. So we got this magician. And it's with the lovers. Now the magician is a card. It often signifies new beginnings. Great expectations. It does remind us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. When you get the magician, just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is, is actually all about action, so... If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now, the magician is with the lovers, which is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. So, it's possible that when this card appears, you could be feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or maybe a situation that's in your life. Yeah, it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But when you get the lover's card, it's saying that when you can... It's safe to choose love, or just choose love, if you can. Because this lover's card is actually a time when love is brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So, this could be a new relationship, or a powerful rebonding of an old, war, of an old one. Either way, you'll be really, really happy about how romance is going. Yeah, the lover's card is very powerful, beautiful card in the deck. So your outcome magician clarified by the lovers. So yeah, um, Libra, you just want to be happy. You're disappointed about what, what this person is doing, being so secretive, telling a bunch of lies. You feel like there's deception. You want balance back into your life. It's in balance right now, dealing with this connection. You feel like holding yourself back, not going forward anymore with this person. That's That could be how you start to feel, because you just want to be happy. So, the magician is here. Like I said, the magician is about new beginnings. So, you could be trying to manifest... Some new beginning. It's it's with the lover's card here. Yeah, it's with the lover's card. So, you know what? I'm getting a couple of storylines here. You could be trying to manifest a new beginning. But the lover's card is here. So, your person... They could be trying to manifest a fresh new start, a new beginning with you. They know you're disappointed. They know they, that things need to change. They know the connection is way off balance. So either you're trying to manifest a new beginning or your person is trying to manifest a new beginning with you. They know that you're a... You're, um, the lovers, they know that you're a strong soulmate. You're their strong soulmate. And for some of you, this is a twin flame. That's what you get with the lovers. Um, it, the lovers can be about falling in love, a coming together, a union. So, like I said, I'm getting a couple of storylines here. I wish I only had one because it makes the, um, the listener, it makes you guys... Um, get a clearer picture, but 
I'm getting you could be manifesting a new beginning towards someone that you feel is your soulmate. Or someone could be coming towards you like this, your soulmate or a twin flame could be someone new or someone that you already know. And like I said, I can't help but tell you the other storyline. This could be the person that you're dealing with, who you feel is deceptive. They could be trying to have a fresh new start with you and wanting a new beginning. Because they feel you're their soulmate. Or they feel a deep connection with you. Action with you. Action with you.